What is up? Welcome to another edition of Sacktown Movie Buffs. Once again, I'm Pierre, and this is Jason. And today we are back reviewing a new movie called Stowaway, which you can find now streaming on, was it Netflix? Yep, Netflix original. Okay, because I wasn't, I couldn't remember. I watched like a couple weeks ago or whenever. I don't know. Maybe it was last week sometime. I just didn't remember. I've seen like 20 movies since then. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Yeah, so Netflix, uh, so um, I say without further ado, I say we just get right into it. So I'm gonna let you take this one away, Jason, if you would please tell us all a little bit about Stowaway. Okay, yeah, so so Stowaway is a uh, science fiction film um, and it is set, apo set aboard a uh, uh, some sort of space mission, you know, uh, three astronauts going into orbit. Um, and it's a real, um, like, it's the kind of movie that only tells you what you need to know, which I like. Uh, but essentially, it seems like their mission involves going to Mars to experiment on, uh, you know, plant life and see how plant life uh, survives on Mars. So it's, 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 it seems to be set some, sometime in the future, but it's indistinct about what time, when it is set in the future, uh, how far in the future. It's uh, it's light on details, which um, again, some movies it works for, some movies it doesn't. This movie, I think, it works for, and um, things are going along according to plan, uh, and and then all of a sudden it's discovered uh, after taking off that they have a stowaway on board. It, specifically, it is a like a a ma like a like a maintenance engineer. I can't remember his exact title, but. Yeah. Basically, he was in the the walls, in the lining, or whatever you would call it, of the shuttle, uh, and knocked unconscious at some point, uh, and managed to make it onto the ship for the uh, launch. So, um, once, they, once they've established that, um, a, a number of questions come up, uh, such as, um, was he, did he do that intentionally? Was he, did he kind of hitchhike, uh, or like, was he was he was he an intentional stowaway or was it an accident? Uh, which is a point that's left ambiguous. I feel pretty strongly one way or the other, but I'm not going to say which way. Um, but essentially, the problem becomes because there was damage to the ship in the takeoff. Um, they only have enough oxygen for they don't have enough oxygen for four people, and returning home is a impossibility. So that's pretty much the entire setup of the movie. Um, it is a movie that gets by on its acting and its writing, which I think are stellar in every way, pretty much. This movie has only four people in it, four, four actors, four, four characters total. Um, and it, I think all four performances in this movie are excellent. Um, so, and it's got some pretty big names in it. Uh, Toni Collette, uh, she's kind of the leader of the mission. Uh, Daniel Day Kim, who I know from Lost. I know he's been in other stuff too, but I primarily know him from Lost. He's like the science officer. Uh, Anna Kendrick, of course, everybody knows her, um, is the doctor on board. And then uh, Shamir, uh, I can't remember if it's Anderson or Alexander, but Shamir Anderson, I think, uh, is the stowaway. So that's pretty much it. Um, it's, it's basically a Twilight Zone style uh, lifeboat scenario. Um, where four characters have to decide uh, what happens now because they only have enough oxygen for uh, three people. Um, and, you know, I, I, to cut to the chase, I absolutely, I love this movie um, because I am a fan of uh, a simple narrative that does what it sets out to do perfectly, and I think this just about does that. Uh, it's got four excellent performances. There's not a false note in any of the performances, uh, the dialogue is uh, sharp. Um, it's well paced. Um, it is suspenseful. You don't really know what direction it's going. Um, and I got really emotionally caught up in it myself um, because all four characters are very sympathetic. You know, you would expect a movie like this with this kind of concept to maybe be a thriller. I wasn't sure what to expect, um, except that I, I kind of had an idea that it probably wasn't going to go the way most movies would. I think most movies with this scenario would turn into a thriller, like a violent thriller, you know, that's, that's, you know, main message is that, you know, we're all, you know, we're all monsters when, you know, the chips are down, you know, I mean, like with, you know, four characters where they, 
you know, one of them will, you know, become, you know, violent or something like that. One of them is going to end up being desperate and uh, underhanded. And that really doesn't happen here. All four of the characters, in my opinion, uh, behave very realistically and remain sympathetic throughout, um, which is hard to do in a situation like this. And um, it's full of really great, uh, really great dialogue, really great acting, uh, where, you know, basically four people uh, that you can sympathize with, that you like, that you care about, uh, have to really go through some unthinkable uh, motions. Um, and what it kind of makes you wonder what you would do in that situation. And I know some people are getting caught up in the fact that, oh, this, you know, the, the, this could never happen. There can never be like an accidental stowaway or whatever. And in my opinion, that is kind of missing the point of the movie. Uh, because the point of the movie, again, in my opinion, is to uh, put you into a lifeboat scenario. Like, you know, this would be a Twilight Zone episode. Um, it, to put you into that kind of scenario of being on a lifeboat and, and going through those motions of who, who, is, who is more worth saving or... Is it worth it to try to uh, try to put everyone at risk to uh, do something courageous that potentially could give everybody enough air, but you'd be putting everybody at risk? Or should you just decide one person is you know less worthy than the other people? And how do you go through those decisions? You know, um, and I really like that it didn't just evolve into a thriller where you know it's cutthroat thriller where. So one of them turns out to be a psycho, you know what I mean? Like that's where that could have been a good movie too, but I've seen that movie before this kind of movie. I haven't quite seen before on top of that. Uh, it looks really good. It looks like a, a movie that you would see at the movie theater. Um, so basically I love this movie and I could probably keep going on about it. Uh, but I won't do that. I will turn it over to you now, so. <laughs> but yeah, I loved it. It's my kind of movie. It's well acted, well written, well directed. It may think it got me emotionally involved it basically hit all hit all my hit all my check boxes uh you know so what did you think yeah. here um so first of all I, I think i'm more in that camp of i didn't think that it was believable and i know you're saying that that's not the point i just don't see how somebody could be unconscious for the entire flight mission and not no, I mean, you can argue whether he purposely stowed away to be there or whatever case may be. I, I'm not for sure. I don't know enough about, you know, space mechanics to know if that's even plausible that something like that could happen. Um, you know, how he even would, would get in there and, and be unconscious and that kind of stuff. So I'm not going to get into whether or not he purposely did it or didn't do it. Um, I thought the story was okay. I didn't think there was anything that spectacular or special about it. Um, yeah, it's it's one of those stories where the acting is, I don't fault it. I mean, they're all good actors and that sort of stuff. Um, it's like one of those things where the whole premise is kind of like, you know, for one, I mean, it's like, a, I guess, a smaller spacecraft where they only had enough oxygen, oxygen, supposedly only for like two people, even without the broken whatever part that broke that, that made the oxygen even limited. So I, I don't know. It's kind of a... To me, the premise of it itself I had fault with because I'm like, why would you even put people in that scenario to where they are going to go on some, some some mission to like Mars with, you know, only designed really for two people is what they said. Um, so really a third person was already kind of pushing it. You know what I mean? So it was already kind of, put, I mean, like the whole premise to me, I thought was kind of uh, a little bit loosey goosey. And I get that it was the whole point just so they can have this dialogue about morality, about whether... You know, if, if we were one of us had to go or how we can try to figure this out. So um, but for me, I had issues with it. I had fault with it. I thought it was far from perfect. And then I don't know. I'm just tired of these space movies where it's like, you know, the same scenario is going to happen over and over again in every single one of them. I didn't think this one was that original. They always have the same scenario where, you know, that at some point someone's going to have to get outside of the ship and do something they either got to fix something or they got to repair something or they have to get something and you know something you know bad is going to happen i mean i've seen this story so many so many times i mean like i'm just so sick of it it's just like you know it's coming as soon as somebody has to go outside of the ship you know something's happening you know what i mean you know it's not going to be a simple thing and I've, i'm just so sick of it i mean we just saw it with um uh 
uh, a Midnight Sky, Gravity. I mean, there's just so many movies that have followed that same playbook. And I, I don't feel like this one was was that much more original than any of those other ones. It's that same scenario where you, you're like, okay, here we go. I guarantee something's going to happen. And you know it, that it is. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I just, I didn't think there was anything that original about it. I didn't think there was anything that special about it. The acting was good. That's fine. Um, it's a pretty simplistic premise, though. So I don't think that there's anything, you know, you know, there was like these great monologue lines or anything of that nature to where I'm going to say this is exemplary acting or this is how it should be done in terms of acting. It's just basically for people with a morality issue and how do you handle that issue? And yeah, do they handle it in what I consider to be a realistic way? Probably, I guess. I mean, I guess if you're in that situation, you, you know, I don't think everybody would immediately turn on each other but then i don't know you know i don't know i don't know that they wouldn't start turning on each other so i don't know if that's realistic or not i'm just thinking of in my scenario i think that we would behave like rational human beings but you know if anything the COVID has taught us it's people sometimes don't act rationally when their backs up against the wall and they're doing crazy stuff and they're going out and you know what i mean so i don't know in that scenario i mean these are all well-educated people so i gotta assume that they were probably a little more civilized just because of their education. I mean, they were like scientists and doctors and engineers and, and pilots. Um, so I got to assume that, you know, they're going to be probably a little bit more rational than your everyday average day Joe that, you know what I mean? That if he just stowed away, you know, um, he, he, he might be a little different. So I don't know. I don't think there was anything overly special about it. Is it a terrible movie? Not at all, but I don't think, I didn't, I think that, I think it may be weighted higher, in my opinion, than, than what it really was, you know? So I, I just don't think that there was anything that special about it. I don't think there was anything that unique about it. I don't think that, and it still follows that same playbook for the most part of most space films that I've seen. So I thought it was okay, but I didn't think there was anything spectacular about it personally, just, just my overall take. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying, it does, um, there are, certain aspects to it that, you know, there is the lead up to the, you know, the getting, going outside the ship to do something risky that uh, may not pay off. Um, and I, I did see and that, I, you know, I do see they that. Never um, they never pay off in those situations. Yeah. So it, it's like that same playbook over and over again. And I just get tired of seeing that, you know what I mean? It's just like, now I, I just expect that like, anytime I see a space movie now, I just expect that, you know, almost, they're almost always going to go outside of the ship at some point and you know something bad's gonna happen you know what i mean like you know it doesn't necessarily have to be a death or whatever case may be but you know it's not going to be a simple let's just go up and repair this flank or let's go up and get this thing and everybody comes back and they continue on you just know that something there's going to be some issue at some in some in some some way and I, i'm just tired of seeing those movies it's just it's, so as soon as i saw it i'm already rolling my eyes like oh, here we go again and then sure enough played out almost exactly like I thought it would. And I'm just like, okay, let's just wait for when things start going wrong. You know, anytime there's a long scene of people doing something that looks complicated or dangerous, or you just know it's going to follow that same playbook and it follows that exact same playbook to a T almost. So, um, so I don't know. I'm just, I'm just tired of seeing those types of films, I guess, you know, if you're going to do a space film, I'd love to see something, um, or maybe, you know, they go out to the ship and nothing happens <laughs> or, you know, just something else, you know? So I don't know. I'm just, I'm just kind of over those, those same repetitive storylines for the most part. So. Yeah. I mean, I get, I get that. I guess uh, the difference here to me is just, I was, I was more invested this time. Like uh, I didn't feel like I knew exactly the way it was going to go because the stakes felt different. You know, it felt um, almost because the snake, the stakes, the stakes in the movie were, were, smaller but also bigger and different than usual so i didn't feel like i knew exactly what would happen and it didn't happen exactly i mean you're you're talking about i don't want to get in the spoilers here but you're talking about like there's more than more than one time that they have to do something out there and uh you know i, I don't want to get into details but uh in anyway i just i don't want to go into details but uh i don't know it worked for me this time it worked for me this time I was more yeah. invested. Yeah, hey, you know, we we can choose to ignore or, you know, or notice these things. So, you know, I mean, it's one of those things. So. Oh, I noticed them. I noticed them. Yeah. So. Well, cool. <laughs> I'm glad you noticed it. 
Uh, but yeah. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to get into details. Yeah, but, that's uh, the problem when we're doing you know. reviews. A lot, a lot of times is that it, it's kind of hard to really, you know, go into specifics without giving away too much of the plot. Um, so clearly, you know, if you're watching this and um, you're invested in what happens, you would have to see the movie to understand exactly what we're talking about. But it's pretty obvious, I think, once you see the movie, what I'm referring to. Um, but, um, you know, it is one of those things where I feel like that's the case with a lot of these movies, especially if there's a twist or something of that nature. It's hard to really delve into why I didn't like that twist or why I didn't like that element without specifically telling you what that element was. So I try to be as coy as, as possible. But um, but yeah, I, I had issues with that. It, it's, it's, I mean, the dialogue's good. And like I said, I, I didn't have any fault with it. But I mean, it's, it's one of those films where almost, you know, I mean, there's obviously more characters in this, but similar to the, the last one, Oxygen, where it's another space one where it's, it's, it's mostly very limited cast. And, you know, it's just like one of those films where, you know, it just kind of, for me, I get kind of waned on a little bit where I'm just like, what else is going to happen here? So um, I can't say I was necessarily bored in that story, but I don't know. I was, you know, I was kind of looking for something else interesting for me to happen. And, and it, I didn't feel like it was all that interesting. You know what I mean? I, I wasn't that invested in the characters enough because you don't learn too, you learn a little bit more about them, but not a whole lot. You don't learn anything about the captain. You know, um, I'm assuming, you know, whether she has a family or, or whatever the case may be. So it's just like one of those situations where I'm just not really, like I said, 100 percent invested always in that in that scenario. Um, all right. So like I said, um, one of those situations where, you know, I didn't quite love it as much as you did. But um, I say we get into those reviews. So overall grade and face you would give Stowaway. Uh, I loved it. I loved it. I thought it was uh, one of the best movies I've seen this year. Easy. Uh, so I gave it four and a half out of five, which for me is an A minus. A little downbeat movie, but uh, you know I definitely enjoyed it. So that's why I'm giving it a smile. <laughs> cool. Four and a half out of five. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty high. Um, yeah, I definitely not going to be in that category. <laughs> so. Um, I went ahead and gave it a three out of five. I thought it was decent. I didn't think there was anything that special about it personally. I didn't think that it was, I wasn't blown away or amazed by it or anything of that nature. It's, it, it's kind of simplistic in it. Um, I guess if you get wrapped up in that morality question, I, I guess I can see how someone might really love it. But I mean, other than that, it's, it's a pretty simple basic film. I felt like, um, so nothing earth shattering for me. Um, so I gave it a three out of five and I'll just give it a smile. No teeth, just you know, just a basic smile. So that's it. Uh, but yeah, you know, let us know down in the comments. Have you seen Solway? Do you like it? Um, is it something that you know you would would, would recommend? Uh, you know, let us know down in the comments. Uh, as always, if you like the channel, we ask that you like, subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of our updates. And we'll be back again soon with another show for you guys. We thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye. Bye.